Hey, good day, fellow petroleads. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Dylan from Zanzi Petroleads here, and today we have an absolute treat for all you off road enthusiasts out there. We're taking a closer look at the new Ford Ranger Tremor, which promises to deliver an exhilarating off road experience like never before. But we're not stopping there. We're also putting it head to head with the Toyota Hilux GR Sport 3 to see how they compare in terms of looks, costs, handling, and overall performance. Let's kick things off by diving into the heart of the new Ford Ranger Tremor. This beast is powered by a 2-liter bi-turbo diesel engine, producing 154 kilowatts and 500 Nm of torque. Priced just under a million rands at 978,600 rands, it's an off-road lover's dream come true. I love this car in so many ways, but here are a list of my favorite features. The upgraded suspension with biostain dampers, increased ride height, terrain conquering general tire AT3s, oof, look at them, wrapped around snazzy 17 inch wheels, sturdy metal side steps, and a front steel bash plate. I mean, look at it, this is the autonomy of off road prowess. Step inside and you'll find yourself surrounded by tremor decals and vinyl covered seats and flooring. Making this interior as rugged as the exterior. It is the perfect blend of toughness and comfort for all your off-road adventures. But hey, I wouldn't be doing any justice if I didn't bring in any competition. Introducing the Toyota Hilux GR Sport 3. My bro brought this bad boy along for the ultimate showdown. Both these off-road titans are ready to take on anything you throw at them. But today, we're taking them down for a spin in Limpopo to see how they stack side by side. After spending the day behind the wheel of both these incredible vehicles, it's time to break it down. The Ranger comes at a slightly lower price point than the Hilux, yet it packs a punch in terms of functionality and off-road compatibility. The Trema proves to be the ultimate off-roading beast. With its rugged exterior and comfortable, adventure-ready interior, it's a total package for those who crave adrenaline-fueled escapades. Meanwhile, the Hilux GR Sport 3 holds its ground with its robust build and impressive off-road capabilities. It's a force to be reckoned with, no doubt, and it does increase in value. Hey guys, in today's video, I'm doing a weird sort of trip. There's a family funeral, not a funeral, there's a wedding, global negotiations type of celebrations. So, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm in the Ford Tremor for the trip, and the family Hilux is coming, and there's also the GR which left yesterday. I'll show you guys how oh. I get to the focus. So it's just gonna be fun to see how this whole trip works out. It's one range against two. Toyota's uh, looking, looking beautiful looking Tremor. Uh, this is the facelifted uh, Hilux Tremor. But anyway, let's go and wish me luck. I'm leaving Pretoria now. Around 2. Then I'm done. So I am currently at the N1 stop Kranzkop heading north on the N1 and this is me in the tremor halfway sort of like halfway this is like the stop before I really really get onto the road but I mean yeah what can I say you can see it's packed we have a Golf 7 8 no Golf VW 8 GTI Golf 8 GTI 7 GTI and I am in the tremor with some things as I've been explaining. I like just showing you guys how beautiful this side of Venda that no one talks about is, especially in this beautiful view. Look where we are, these are trees used to make um, papers. Enjoying 
enjoying this vehicle in these gravel roads. You know, such a large, proper, proper vehicle. Uh, I'm gonna try and get a photo shoot with the GR. Let's go! Let's go. And then there was three. <laughs> so today's trip, or well, this weekend's trip. What do you want to do? follow. Automatic bright lights. Automatic bright lights. As soon as they notice other lights, uh, just wait for it. There we go. Uh, because there's two cars. Well, it's not even a car. Yo, one light cars. Now, guys, yo, you guys will kill us. You think it's a bike and it's not. Hi. I'm enjoying myself on these beautiful mountainous roads yeah, in a place called Takalan. Uh, you know, it's very fine and bullish. I'm just, yeah, very fine. But the tram, I'm driving in eco mode, averaging around 11 to 12 uh, kilometers per 100 liters. You know, I'm on road and off road. See, now we found some last This is newly built, maybe over the past, I don't know, five years ago. But it's such a nice road, very heavy road. So this car is very capable. All on off road, as you can see, I can take these curves with uh, some slight confidence, you know. <laughs> and wow, I've just enjoyed this. Okay, look, look at the field I'm going to. And look at the roads. Just tell, like, this is some nice. It's 
like the, 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 um, the Great Wall of China. So yeah, I'm really just enjoying myself. The tram. For, for where I come from, especially if you see the videos I've been posting today. But there are still some places which are unpaved. It's really rough to go through. Right? In Aoyama Highway and stuff. And you look at it this way, man. This is a perfect car for just under a million. These nice tires and the off-road suspension just make it a tad better. You know, they just make it more fun, more enjoyable, and it gives you more confidence when driving. You're not scared. It, it feels big, bigger than the normal Ranger, um, sort of like the size, similar to a Raptor. Love it. Every, every, they love it. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And there you have it, folks. Two formidable contenders, each vying for the top spot in the world of off-roading glory. Which would you pick? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more adrenaline pumping content like this. Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you guys on the next adventure. Peace out.